There have been a variety of books that have come out lately. The most, uh, most well-known is a book called Freakonomics, which tries to involve implying incentives to um, society and to understand why things happen in the way they happen and to address certain what you might think of as puzzles of society, but to economists are perhaps less puzzling. One of, the, one of the songs I like in thinking about economics is the Money Song by a 1970s comedy group from Britain called Monty Python. And, uh, and I remember as a teenager, back before we had cable TV, staying up late and watching them on public broadcasting and really being enthralled by their skits and their humor. And this song, The Money Song, is they sing about being greedy. And it, it's, in some context, it, it's a little bit more interesting in that if you think about Britain in the 1970s under a very socialistic labor government, the government was really driving the country into bankruptcy because they basically were ignoring incentives and using the government to hand out money. And so basically people stopped working and Britain got poorer and poorer. And for me, the money song, where they basically sing about different kinds of money and how important money is, if you go listen to it, one of, the, one of the key lines is, you can keep your Marxist ways, but it's only goods that pay, is really a satire attacking the British government at the time, where they were interested in Marxist ideas. Now later, when the, that government fell, they were replaced by the government of Margaret Thatcher, which to, to many economists, she's a hero because she instituted more market-based economies in the British system, and once more, Britain is a rich country.